So you are watching this video because you're going to be completing a assessment task that you will need to write a paragraph in. There are many ways to write a paragraph and I'm not here to tread on the toes of the English teachers or other teachers that have taught you how to write one. But for this assessment task there's a few things you need to do to structure it. Um, so whether you use teal, peel, teak, Texas, um, all those paragraph structuring tools, um, they're all very similar. It doesn't really matter as long as you address the key um, parts in a paragraph. So. First, let's imagine that this is the question in your examination. How has Vincent van Gogh used the elements of design in the painting Starry Night? Make your response a paragraph long. So we all know what Starry Night looks like here. Um, elements of design, you guys should have been revising and know what the seven elements are. So if you're thinking about it, the three main elements are what? You know, look, what does the texture look like? What about the colour? What about the shapes? So think about the three main ones. So this is how I would structure my response. So looking first at a topic sentence. So a topic sentence is how you address the question. Um, so it can be more than one sentence. It doesn't just have to be one. But it's how you, you look at the question and how you would firstly state what your answer is going to be. So a good topic sentence is Vincent van Gogh has used ma many elements of design in his work. So that's a fairly good one but it's quite broad. It doesn't tell me what elements of design does he use or what artwork are you talking about. So another topic sentence might be that Vincent van Gogh has used many elements of design in his work. The most obvious are colour, texture and line. So that one's better because you see I've added a bit more information. Um, in addressing what the question is actually asking. The last question, the last topic sentence, the elements of design are structural components that help create an artwork. Vincent van Gogh has used various elements of design in his painting Starry Night. The most noticeable elements are colour, texture and line. So that's the best topic sentence because when you get to older years or when you start writing paragraphs, you've got to sort of imagine that the marker doesn't know anything about what you're talking about. So your job is to explain um, in a very straightforward way what you're going to be talking about. So you've told me in that last one, what are the elements of design? They're structural components that help create an artwork. Um, you've told me what artwork you're addressing and you've told me the three main elements of design. So explain an evidence. So what I've got highlighted there is my topic sentence. So when you're explaining, you, you're giving examples from the artwork and how they relate back to the question. So the, the red parts here are my ex explanations and evidence or my evaluations if you're using a different paragraphing tool. So the painting is created using deep blues of various tones and bright yellows when representing the stars. So that's an example of how he's used colour. Also, the use of swirling lines has given the work a rich texture. Um, so also, you could talk about um, well any of the other elements as well, but you, in the topic sentence, you've told me there's three main elements and you've just mentioned those three main elements and given me specific examples in the artwork. So don't just say he's used blues and yellows and greens. Maybe try and say that um, he's used cool colours, a, um, a complementary or harmonious colour scheme um, and in particular or give particular examples. So you could say in the case of the stars they're yellow and white which clashes with the blue background which makes them stand out more. Um, so using that evidence as that gif is showing you. So you've broken the work down in that part and the last part you need to do is link it back to the question. So it's all good and well saying um, you know that there's colour and texture and line in the work but if you leave it at that end it's going to be fairly um, you're like you're missing something. So you've got to link it back to the question. So using these elements of design Van Gogh has created an appealing and well composed artwork that engages the viewer. So something that says He's used those elements of design and he's done it successfully. 
or it doesn't have to be like that. It could be that he's used the elements of design um, and that has resulted in um, some other effect, whatever you feel. But just some, a question that, a sentence that sums it all up and ties it back to what the question is asking. So now it's your turn. What you are going to do is you're going to look at this artwork here. So this is by another artist called Paul Gauguin and it's asking how has Paul Gauguin used the elements of design in the painting Day of God. So this paragraph, this is going to be a paragraph long response, very similar to the, what you just did with Van Gogh. Um, and I want you to look at this artwork, look at the main elements of design. So you can choose three or four and you need to an answer this question using a paragraph. So break it down into topic sentence, um, explaining your topic sentence using the evidence in the artwork and then linking it back to the question. This response, can you please post it in your OneNote homework tab? Please um, do try and put it in that tab because that's the tab I'll be checking. And also if you ha are having difficulties with OneNote, that's okay. Just send it to me via email and I'll check it there just to make sure that you're on the right track. So that is going to be the work for today. If you have any other questions, please let me know and I will be available to answer them. I hope this is helpful.